Hey guys, this is Betsy Veldman for Paper Tray Ink, and I am back with more Make It Market Post and Parcel goodness. In this video, I'm going to show you how to assemble the 3D letterbox die that is included in the kit. Okay, so I have everything die cut. This uh, treat box, letterbox, whatever you want to call it, uh, includes multiple pieces. There is the backer and the main body of the mailbox. There is a little latch and the lid. Now also from the lid I die cut the slit and I did that all in one pass through my machine. The slit is a separate die so that you can determine where you want to place that on. You can place it in you know, different areas on the lid itself or you could also place it somewhere on the front of the body of the mailbox. So that's totally up to you. And then there is also a little latch and the cute little padlock. Okay, so assembly is really super easy, um, but before you assemble anything, if you want to do any stenciling onto the mailbox, you want to do that before assembling. I showed you in the walkthrough video that there were several different uh, stencils that coordinate with the letterbox. There are the striped borders that you can add to the front or the sides, and then there is also um, a set of word stencils. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add um, a word to the front of our mailbox and I'm going to be using this uh, little stencil that says post and also uh, some texture paste. This is opaque matte uh, texture paste from Ranger and I also have just a basic uh, palette knife. So this is super easy to do. It's like buttering a sandwich. <laughs> it's really about that easy. You just take some of the texture paste onto the palette knife and just uh, spread it over top of the stencil. The biggest thing is to just not uh, let your stencil move around on you. Sometimes I like to uh, put my die cut and my stencil onto a uh, Cricut mat, which is a kind of a sticky mat that they use with uh, the die cutting, the cutting machines like a Cricut. Sometimes I like to use those. I put those down and stick my die cut onto it and also my stencil. It kind of helps to hold everything in place. But today I'm just winging it. So you want to try to get a pretty even coating of the texture paste. Just makes everything look a little more uh, finished and polished. So I feel like that is a pretty good coating on there. And then just go ahead and pull away the stencil and see the magic. Super, uh, really, really cute effect with the dimensional paste on uh, that darker cardstock. And you can, of course, also add re-inkers to the paste uh, to color it. So I did that on some of my, uh, some of my projects, which you'll uh, see on my blog. So now I just have to wait for that to dry a minute, and then we can get to assembling the, the, the mailbox. Okay, so our texture paste is dry, and I should have mentioned too, when you use the texture paste with the stencils, you want to make sure that you do wash your stencil right away too. So uh, rinse that texture paste off of your stencil. Alright, so you can see here I have some score tape. There are two flaps on the sides of the main body of the mailbox, and so I put some quarter inch uh, score tape on those flaps. On, that's on the right side of the die cut. On the wrong side of the die cut, I have two strips of uh, quarter inch score tape on this bottom flap. And then I also have eighth inch score tape on this uh, little scalloped flap on the lid of the mailbox. So really all you need to do is uh, fold everything on the score lines. And as usual, I like to fold forward first just to get those score lines going since they're impressed from the front. Just go ahead and fold them forward to start with to give them a good nice start. And then go ahead and give them a nice crisp fold the other direction. All right, here is the backer of the letterbox. There is a score line um, just an inch and a half or so from the bottom. So fold on that. And then you just, I'm just gonna peel off the score tape and I'm going to, you You can either have the flaps uh, showing on the back side like this. If you do that, you'll want to put the score tape on the back side. I like to have them hidden, so I'm going to, I have my score tape on the right side, and I will just line up the score on this little bottom flap here with this score line. Okay, do the same thing on the other side. Okay. 
Okay, and then the bottom flap. Fold those all in. And then we have our flap with the adhesive. Oh, that little guy needs to get inside of there. And then just go ahead and close up those flaps. Okay, and that's the main body of the mailbox. Next we can go ahead and add the lid. That has a score line here on this little scalloped portion. And then also a score line here on this bottom flap. Okay, I have eighth inch score tape along that top flap. When you add this, you're just going to want to make sure that it is centered. It is slightly wider than the mailbox base, the main body of the mailbox. So just kind of make sure that it is centered. And then go ahead and use your fingers to just press that score tape along that backer. Okay, and then we have the latch. I'm going to pull out some liquid adhesive for that. Okay, then we have the latch and I'm going to pull out some liquid adhesive for that. And what you need to do is fold that in the center so that you have something like that. Okay, I'm going to open it back up and I'm just going to put a little bit of liquid adhesive on one side, just on that rounded part. Don't put adhesive down here on the little rectangle, just on that little round uh, loopy part. Very scientific. <laughs> okay, I'm going to squeeze that shut to kind of secure that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my fingers to kind of open up these little flaps. And you can even kind of use your tabletop to help you with that, your desktop. Fold those open. Okay, and then I'm going to put a little bit of uh, liquid adhesive again on those flaps. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to slip the latch portion through the slit in the lid of the mailbox. Just helps me get everything positioned properly so that everything's fitting together. So just, and then close that flap and try to catch that liquid adhesive on there just so enough so that it stays in place. And then you can open up that flap and uh, use your fingers to just really secure that in place. And then you know that that's right in the right spot. Okay, and it does stay closed pretty well on its own. You can, you know, add some twine to that or some ribbon to tie it close through that loop, but you can also add, this is a little padlock die that's included in the kit and that can be slipped right through there like that. So I have a few other ideas for you using some of the mailbox uh, dies. The backer makes a really great tag shape if you just trim off the score line and uh, makes this cute tag. It's a, kind of a jumbo tag, but super fun. You can also uh, create more of a flat mailbox using the backer die. Here I used two of them. Uh, left one hole, actually I trimmed it a little bit off of the bottom, um, but the uh, the other one, the second one, I trimmed off the curved top and also some at the bottom so that, let's see if you can see this here. Open this up and you can get a little bit better idea of what I'm talking about here. So the second backer was trimmed down. So really all I had was just this, the rectangular portion of it. Adhere the two together to make a little pocket and then top it off with uh, the lid from the mailbox. And you can add the latch and the little padlock too. And that's just a fun way. You can tuck a gift card in there or make a little photo card. Just some fun ways to use that as well. Okay, so that shows you just how quick and easy and fun it is to assemble the cute little letterbox favor die that's included in the Post and Parcel Make It Market kit. And I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for joining me. This has been Betsy Veldman for Paper Tray Inc.